Welcome, family, friends, honored guests. We're gathered here to bear witness, to celebrate, and by our presence and love to sanctify the union of Jana and Kimberly. Love is the sweet music of our lives, and the drums are its heartbeat. This is indeed a story of love and drums. For what began as two free souls on a first date at a drum event in Tampa, has evolved into one grand symphony for a lifetime. But music isn't only for the pe people playing it. Its essence touches everyone around it. Everyone here today has been touched by Jana and Kimberly as individuals. As these two are joined together today as one, their loving music will begin to touch us in a different way, a fuller, more complete harmony. And the fact that everyone here has played some role in conducting them to this moment makes this gathering even more important and meaningful for the loving couple. At this time, we're going to invite Jana and Kimberly's good friend, Lori Ellis, to come up here for a reading. Good morning. One of my absolute greatest pleasures in life is meeting people and sharing stories and hearing people's stories about their lives. And this has been an incredible weekend so far of meeting some very interesting people and hearing a lot of great stories. There was one moment yesterday in particular on the playground that really struck me. And it was actually, it wasn't so much the words this young lady was saying, but it was one of Sherry's granddaughters. It was how she said it, how she's told the story of her grandmother with so much passion and so much love. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> and she was lit up with such pride as she talked about her grandma. And it just struck me that, Sherry, you have touched so many people's lives that are standing here. But this story is about Jana and Kimberly. So I'm honored here this morning to talk to you. They've asked me to share their story of how they first met. And I can't think of a better honor. So thank you guys so much. I just hope I do it some justice. I want to start by sharing their story with you by talking about some of my own personal beliefs. And I think you'll agree, by the time I get through with their story, which Kimberly told me take all the time that I need to share <laughs> Jana said, get it done quickly. <laughs> by the time I'm done with it, I think you'll believe that, that their story fits nicely within this set of beliefs that, that I hold very strongly to. And I think most of us have a set of beliefs that we, we hold strongly to and that guide us through our life. You know, and as, as we face different challenges and different opportunities, we go back to those beliefs. And that helps us create the frame of mind that we're going to have as we approach different circumstances in our life. That's my cue. Oh, oh, that is. Yeah. It's fuzzy. It's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> one of those beliefs for me is that there are no coincidences in life. That everything, absolutely everything, 
and our life happens for a reason. Yes, I'm one of those people. I truly believe that everything happens for a reason and there are no coincidences. And that belief has guided me through some of the darkest times in my life. I also believe that every single person that you meet in your lifetime, that you have an encounter with, with an exchange with, you have something to learn from. It could be a homeless guy on the street. It could be a little Girl Scout knocking on your door with that sweet little face trying to sell you cookies. Or it could be somebody's crazy Aunt Sherry, you know, <laughs> that you get to meet and have this exchange with in your life. But there's something to be learned from everyone. And I hold very strongly to this third belief that there is the perfect match out there for every single one of us. For every single one of us. And that was certainly reaffirmed in my mind when Jana finally met Kimberly six years ago. But more recently, it was reaffirmed in my mind when Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory <laughs> made Amy Farrah Fair Fowler. <laughs> I mean, seriously, guys, if that guy can meet somebody, come on, there is a perfect person out there for every single one of us. Yes? <laughs> Absolutely. So <clears throat> I had the pleasure of meeting Jana about 11 years ago when she moved from California, from California to Florida. And I can remember thinking, my lord, did this woman up in the, end up in the wrong spot. <laughs> I mean, most of you probably know Florida is fairly conservative. It's not the most liberal, liberal state in our country. And then she landed in this tiny little community of Brandon. Okay, oh. Brandon, Florida. A little tiny spot on the map. That's probably the, one of the least progressive places in our state. In the world. In the world. <laughs> and she flies in with her incense and her drum <laughs> and her guitar and her sailboat in tow. And I'm thinking, what were you thinking? Brandon? And she wants to start this really crazy drum business. And she thinks she's going to sail in one of the minor small little lakes in Brandon, I guess. So I'm thinking, wow, she's landed in the wrong spot. But remember, there are no coincidences in life. She was there for a reason. As the, year as the years passed, I learned a great deal about Jana. I learned that she's thoughtful, that she's one of the kindest and most gentle people that I know. She's courageous, and she's extremely picky when it comes to women and who she's going to spend her time with. I mean extremely picky. <laughs> so Dory and I would talk from time to time about wow, what do you think? We have this friend who's single. Let's hook her up with Jana. And I have to tell you, we have some pretty amazing friends. And we would quickly find ourselves retreating, thinking, oh no, far too picky. She will not pass Jana's high standards. So just how did these two amazing ladies meet? Interesting and left the story began online. <clears throat> For those of you who know Jana well, you could probably never imagine Jana filling out a dating profile and submitting it to a website. Yes? Mm -hmm. Remember, there are no coincidences. It all started when she was contacted by a company about doing a drum circle for a group of lesbians. And the company had requested that she complete a profile that they intended to use to market and promote the event. So shortly after completing the profile, Jana all of a sudden started getting all these strange little likes and messages <laughs> and stuff popping up on her email. <clears throat> and she quickly figured out Oh my gosh, my profile has been put on a lesbian dating website. <laughs> so in Jana's very kind way, she started blowing all the women off <laughs> and driving them to her drum circle or drum magic website, hoping and praying out of all of this foolishness she was going to get some business. <laughs> she had no interest in anything else. Meanwhile, here's sweet innocent, gentle, <laughs> loving, kind, <laughs> quiet, and passive Kimberly. So we thought passive Kimberly. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in Polk County, being encouraged by some of her friends, Polk County is far less progressive than Brandon. Oh. Sitting in her own little community, being encouraged by her friends to register with a, a uh, dating website, put her own profile out there and then interested in hopefully meeting somebody that might be of interest to her. So she decides to go for it after a little bit of time, and she comes across Jim's profile, <laughs> and is instantly intrigued by a photo of Jana, of herself on her sailboat, and a comment that Jana made about how she likes to go to church on Sundays on Moonshadow. Okay, those of us who know Jana know Moonshadow is one of her greatest passions in life. That's her sailboat. So Kimberly finds the courage to reach out, 
and is initially blown off, like all the women before her. <laughs> and she says, go to my drum circle, my, go to my website, right? Yep. Kimberly's determined not to give up, so she lets about a week pass. And then she reaches out again to Janet, and this time, she inquires about whether or not Janet had gone to church that day on Moonshadow. Okay, so she's piqued her interest a little bit now. She got a quick response back. Didn't get blown off. And Janet said, no, the weather was bad. So Kimberly fights back with, so what's a drum circle facilitator? Smart lady. She's talked about her two passions already. <laughs> Sailing and drumming. She's roping her in, right? So <clears throat> Janet is very intrigued now about this woman who's asking about things that are really important to her. So she says, let's take this conversation offline. So they start to communicate, right, via email. Now Kimberly has seen Jana, but Jana has not seen Kimberly, and they haven't spoken yet. And so they continue to talk back and forth, and then Kimberly decides once again, the passive one, <laughs> I want to meet her. So she tells her, I want to see a drum circle. And it just so happened Kimberly's timing was perfect, because Jana had just gotten her first big corporate bit gig. I mean big, American Express travel. Big gig. Now imagine this, she's trying to bust into this business, she gets her first big gig, and she's inviting this woman that she hasn't met yet to come along to see this happen. So Janet invites her and tells her it's overnight, but assures her there's two beds in the hotel room. Miss <laughs> Proper says, I'm not staying overnight. And then decides, okay, if there's two beds, maybe, no, I'm not staying overnight, but I will come for dinner. <laughs> so she comes in, they enjoy a nice dinner together. Oh, she comes in, <laughs> does gently knocks on the door, of the hotel room. They haven't met in person yet. <laughs> they haven't met in person yet. No, you're Gently not. knocks on the door in the hotel room, grabs Jana by the collar, slams her against the wall, and plants a nice little kiss on her. <laughs> so, an impressive one. An impressive, nice little aggressive kiss. So, Kimberly had to know. Kimberly had to know if all of that emotion and all of that feeling that she had been feeling going back and forth in these conversations over the past month or so was real. And in that moment, she knew. She knew right there and, and there, and so did Jana. So they are off to dinner. Dinner was interrupted quickly <laughs> by a young man telling Jana, we're setting up your drum circle. So their first date together was spent with Kimberly setting up Jana's drum circle. <laughs> Very romantic, Jana. <laughs> and she's still here. <laughs> Later that evening, they went back to the room. Lots of cuddling, lots of great conversation. Separate beds. <laughs> Jana gets up at the crack of dawn. A morning person, not so much. <laughs> and wisely, she had already picked up on that. Didn't say a word, snuck out of the room. Imagine the pressure that she's feeling. She's got her first big gig, first big corporate thing that could break her into this, this world of, of drumming business in a big way, and she's got this amazing woman lying in her hotel bedroom. <laughs> and she's got all this nervous energy, and off she goes. So they never see each other in the morning, okay? Janet goes and starts doing her thing. She gracefully wakes up, slowly puts her face on, goes down <laughs> to the drum circle. Janet never sees her. She sees Janet in the middle of this sea of people, pounding on the drum. If you've ever seen it, it's pretty amazing to see igniting this room of people. And right then and there, the drum lady was yours. Yes, the drum lady was hers. She knew it all over again. So the, so the event ends. Jana never sees her. She goes off and starts driving home. Jana's got hours of work to do, loading up drums, putting things away. Sweaty, if you've ever seen her after this, she's disgusting. <laughs> Gross, matted hair. The first thing she does is reaches for the phone. Kimberly, were you there? What did you think? They had dinner the next night at a nice little sushi place, and they both drove home with huge smiles on their faces. Kimberly knowing absolutely with certainty that everything she was feeling was real, and it was there, and the drum lady was the one. And this one knowing that she found her diamond in the rough. <coughs> it's the real thing between these two, you guys. It's the real thing, and it's beautiful. Dory and I cherish y'all's friendship, and we have so enjoyed watching the love between you grow over the last six years. You guys have something very special, and it's obvious to everybody that's here and around you and that loves you. You completely accept one another for who you are. You never talk about how you want to change the other person, that little idiosyncrasy of Jana, and I know I can talk about some of this. You treat each other with the utmost respect. 
You look forward to putting a smile on each other's faces. You talk without ever saying a word. You laugh, you cry, you hold each other tight. Thank you so much for allowing each one of us to be a part of your lives. We love you guys very much. <laughs>
has taught me how to have fun and how to enjoy the amusement park of our life. And you are my small town girl with a big city heart. <laughs> I feel strong in your presence and I love knowing that you're always in my corner. I'm so lucky to have you as my lifetime companion. We have endured our share of life's peaks and valleys and we have joined together to handle these challenges with grace. Through it all, you have been my companion, my friend, my playmate, and my lover. Kimberly, after so much soul searching, I am certain I'm ready to make this commitment. I promise to hold you firmly as we venture through life together. I promise to always defend you, be right there with you, to make sure that you're safe and smart and sweet <laughs> every day. I promise to care for you when you're sick and celebrate when you are well. I promise to use the pause when I speak. And I promise to add just the right spices to our pot of passion. I promise to smile a lot and laugh often. I vow to stay corny and be the nerd that you fell in love with almost six years ago. And so Kimberly, today I pledge my love to you. I promise to take this journey and adventure with you. I will be your lover, your, compa your companion, your friend, and your biggest cheerleader, as long as we both shall live. Make sure this is gonna stand, okay. Jana's goddaughter, Cassandra, will now join us to read the hands ceremony. I have it here too, if you want. Please face each other and take each other's hands so that you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief temporarily comes to you. These are the hands that will countless times wipe away the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children, the hands that will join your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it, support and encouragement to pursue your dreams, and comfort through difficult times. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. I lost up the ribs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, they don't hold much, but they hold the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Mm -hmm. Okay, the wedding ring is a symbol of unity, a circle unbroken without beginning or end. And today, Jana and Kimberly give and receive these rings as demonstrations of their vows to make their life one, to work at all times to create a love that is whole and unbroken, and to love each other without end. Jana, as you place this ring on Kimberly's finger, uh, repeat after me. Kimberly, I give you this ring with all that I have. Kimberly, I give you this ring with all that I have. All that I am. All that I am. It represents my love for you. It represents my love for you. And as that, it shows no beginning and no end. And as that, it shows no beginning and no end. I ask that you wear it as an outward symbol of my love. I ask that you wear it as an outward symbol of my love. And that it may remind you and show to others how much you mean to me that it may remind you and show to others how much you mean to me. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Repeat after me, Kimberly. Jana, I give you this ring with all that I have and all that I am. Jana, I give you this ring with all that I have and all that I am. It represents my love for you. 
It represents my love for you. And as that, it shows no beginning and no end. And as that, it shows no beginning and no end. I ask that you wear it as an outward symbol of my love. I ask that you wear it as an outward symbol of my love. And that it may remind you and show to others how much you mean to me. And that it may remind you and others how much you mean to me. Very good. Can I kiss you? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> unofficial again, unofficial. <laughs> now this ceremony is special for the married couple and for all of us who have come to partake in it. But we also want to take a moment uh, to remember and think about those who aren't here but would have liked to have shared this moment with us. Jan and Kimberly would like to have a moment of silence to remember people whose lives meant so much to theirs, including Jerry Broder, Jana's father, and Glennis Colbert, Kimberly's mother. So let's have a moment of silence. Thank you. May today's celebration, Jana and Kimberly, uh, remain special in your hearts and memories. May the love that you feel and share with us today continue to grow deeper and stronger. As experience and circumstances change each of you, may you both grow together in harmony. This stand is going to fall over. Thank you. Unofficial. It's about to be official. Uh, Jana and Kimberly, by the power of your love and commitment, and on behalf of those present here to bear witness to your pledges of faith, love, and devotion, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you married and bound together, body and soul. Now how about an official kiss? <laughs> Now everyone, please rise and greet the new couple. actually call her Jana, except <laughs> us. Um, but anyway, I've been invited to give the first toast of the day, and so I'm honored to do this. And I would first like to say that I was... Yeah, stand right here and face that. Yeah. So I was first told, because I really wanted to bless them with fertility and many children, <laughs> that I wasn't allowed to do that. <laughs> And then secondly, I wanted to wish for them many cats in their future. <laughs> but then there's this. What's the sign? No, no, no cats. cats. <laughs> okay, that's sad for me. We'll dig to that. So I'll be a little bit more serious now that we're moving into the serious part of it. Here's my notes. May the meaning of this day be fulfilled through the days and the years to come. May your love grow deeper and stronger through the uncertainties and changes in the life that you will share. Loving each other, may you love all persons. Trusting each other, may you trust life more. As all of us here, loving friends and family, travel with you both through the rest of your life together, may we continue to share in the light and love that you radiate today. As we all raise our glass to you, we offer our blessing to your long life and happiness together. And in the words of Jean-Luc, make it so, number one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Catherine. So sweet. Oh, yeah. Not good. Thank you, Stephen. I am Kim. Burley's sister. <laughs> and, <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
because I hope I can get through. <coughs> My mom would have loved to write poetry. She read a poem for my husband and I when we got married. So I dug it up Aww. and I felt the two of you deserved the same poem that she did. So it was titled Cheryl and John. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's Cheryl? This time, <laughs> this time it's titled J and K. <laughs> so, a baby smile, a child at play, lover strolling on a sunny day. A flower in bloom, a bright full moon. Thunder and lightning, a cozy room. Mountains and rivers, valleys below. Snowflakes falling in solitude. Peace from all wars and harmony. Love for each other, eternity. Growing old together, a reminisce. A soft little sigh when we kiss. A shelter to keep us safe and warm. And never doing each other harm. If there's a need, let us be there to show each other that we care. Thanking God together for loving hearts, for creating angels there are to start. For giving us life and liberty and a love for each other for eternity. My mom wrote that, and I just felt you deserve the same. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to. <laughs> 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 <laughs>